This is a rare, rare occurrence. Uh, normally when I film my video films for the day, each and every day, they are one shot, one take deals. And today that is not the case. Um, I think it's important for the, for the purity and the truth of these videos for them to be one shot, one take. But that always doesn't happen. Sometimes there's a technological problem. And sometimes, just sometimes, uh, a good friend calls you up on Skype in the middle of uh, filming a video and interrupts you. So it's kind of hard to maintain a serious uh, train of thought when a good friend is smiling on the other end of the line with a big dimple and is happy to see you. And this is supposed to be a very serious video. Um, and I told Miss Popsicle Paws, thanks a lot. It's going to be very difficult to do this very serious film with permagrin on my face. Because um, what can I say? She's a great friend. And um, our friendship is becoming serious. So maybe that will put me back in a serious mindset. Today we talked about higher education. Uh, my good friend Miss Possible Paws has a lot of aspirations to become a therapist um, that I think is not uh, a coincidence at all another miracle because at one point in my life I dedicated myself to become a psychiatrist and, and more specifically a child psychiatrist uh, there's nothing more amazing than the mind of a child Imagination is by far one of the most powerful tools in the universe. And uh, I don't know. I seem to get along better these days with kids than I do people my own age because we both uh, put a lot of stock in imagination. And uh, lucky for me, Miss Popsicle Paws has an imagination to rival my own, which is a good thing, a good thing. But uh, we talked about the costs of education. And, um, of course, there's the financial costs, and there's the sacrifice of time, and all the effort that goes into education. And um, uh, I also told her, you know, since this is a house of guinea pigs, we have two guinea pigs that live upstairs, I would be happy to be a guinea pig if she needs someone to, to test drive her therapy sessions on because I'm sure there are a lot of therapists, psychiatrists, psychologists that would love to get me on their couch because, uh, well, my mind is definitely one of a kind, definitely one of a kind. Um, so maybe someday I'll be sitting on that orange couch and Miss Popsicle Paws will have a pen and paper and be writing the words total loon down on her prescription pad. I think that make a fun video. But um, while I'm talking about degrees and I'm looking at this empty diploma uh, case, which I bought on my field trip to Walmart for my father's birthday, I must say, and I believe this is a sincere fact as far as I know, I am the first person from my father's family to receive a college degree. Now that, you know, could be taken as a point of pride. And I'm sure there's a lot of uh, Freudian fans, you know, out there that are probably would love to see this video. You know, am I trying to kill my father metaphorically? No, no, I love my dad. The world's a better place with him. He's one of my heroes. Like Kobe is a hero, you know, for uh, Miss Popsicle Paws. Well, I have many heroes. You know, Batman, uh, Jesus, and my dad are, are on, definitely on, in the top five. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing my dad today because it is a new day and we're going to have a cookout. I'll be able to give him my video greeting card that I made him. And I'll also be able to give uh, the Shrek movies that I did not steal. That I did not steal. But um, where, where my actual degree is... I don't know. I don't know where my diploma is. Maybe my stepmom has it. And uh, maybe people would respect me more if I had this on the wall right there and, uh, you know, had a degree. Like my boss at uh, my uh, mental health institute has a doctorate. If I had a doctorate, you know, 
chances are the world would take me more seriously. Um, I don't have a doctorate, but um, this this video, and I can see now why it has been interrupted, because this is probably one of the most important videos in my life. And maybe, you know, I need to think more about what I want to say. Um, I received in the mail yesterday um, a degree, my diploma. I know that you can basically go online and get any degree you want. Um, the, 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 the world of education is evolving. Like you don't have to go to a classroom anymore to get uh, a degree. This was postmarked on the 26th of April, 2011. And I have no real way to prove that I did receive this yesterday on uh, my father's birthday. So I think it's kind of fitting, you know, after after the filming was done, I realized, you know, I checked the mail and boom, I got, I finally got my diploma in the mail and it came to me on my father's birthday. Now, is that a coincidence? Is that a miracle? You know, you know, it, would my dad be proud of me that I've been working very, very hard behind the scenes to earn a degree that no one's really known about? Um, maybe. Maybe not, because I think my dad, you know, was going to be more proud of me going back into Walmart and uh, paying for Shrek than if I, you know, won the Pulitzer Prize. You know, being a good man is more important, I think, than being a smart man. It's easy. It's easy to be to be smart. It's hard to be good. Um, but I did indeed receive this degree on my father's birthday, and. Um, this is one of those before and after moments. We've had one of those recently in the family, like with uh, Caitlin being born. Like the life of my big little brother is never, ever, ever going to be the same um, now that that child is in, in his life, in our lives. And uh, once I put this degree that I received in the year of our Lord, 2011 into this frame um, the world my life is never ever ever going to be the same so maybe I need to think more about what I need to say and uh, save putting you know putting my degree in this frame for another day Because yeah, this this is definitely this is definitely going to change everything.